I'm so glad that all of you could be here to celebrate the 31st annual American Quilter Society Quilt Contest. It's so exciting that there are so many wonderful quilts that are going to be on display for you. Hope you enjoyed all the refreshments out there. Weren't they fantastic? Tonight's also a special evening. We have a person that is celebrating a birthday this evening, and I think all of you know Meredith Schroeder. Where's Meredith? Happy birthday to you. And this block was entered in the four to K grade level and it was made by Girl Scout Troop 109 from Benton, Kentucky. Let's give them a big round of applause. And the first place award is called Revolution Number no. 9, and it was Robin Gausbeck from Rockford, Illinois. It was really beautiful, Robin. This is the first time Laura designed a quilt with open spaces for free motion quilting. Dancing Dahlia is beautifully appliqued and quilted with silk thread. Kay wanted to create an embellished, unique quilt. She chose to depict an Indian bride wearing red because red is a constant companion of Indian brides. Birds are David's favorite subject matter for pictorial applique. His design source here is the peekaboo image by photographer Ingus Riss McDonald. This quilt depicts how the glorious colors of fall give way to the icy world of winter. It is made from silk radiance with hand applique velvet ribbon detail. Artwork from CaffeineChemo.com inspired Nancy's whole cloth wall painting. This amazing design was inspired by a line drawing from a book, Aztec Cosmos. Linda intended to use just the dill fabric to make a whole cloth quilt. Her original design was pieced and quilted on a long arm machine with computer aided software. This modern design is an original work with Emily and Miriam that was made as a tribute to their dear friend who lost her battle with breast cancer. Quilting on both a home and long arm machine, this quilt sat in her quilt room for six months before she could finish the quilting. Paper pieced, hand quilted applique, embroidered and beaded with quilting on a long arm machine. After a trip to India, Saffron Splendor was made in silk with machine applique and machine quilting. Pat added some details by hand and also added some purchase trims. Shashiko loves the Christmas rose and wanted to make a quilt to express the neat and pretty flower. Each block contains an inspirational word and each was uniquely quilted to reflect the words. A variety of quilting motifs in the block help carry the message. Long arm quilting enhances applique, piecing, and needlework techniques. <laughs> Thelma worked on this quilt while waiting for her spring flowers to bloom after a long winter. She selected bright colors for the quilt that she was eager to see outside. Design sourced Coastal Lily pattern by Laurie Simpson and Pauline Mimic. With flip-flop paper piecing, she could miniaturize the blocks and have a tiny basket strippy. Her original design is quilted using a home sewing machine. This quilt makes you want to go out and chase bubbles. Hiroko was inspired by colorful bubbles to make this charming quilt. She found that although the dark water mill was designed to make the bubbles more beautiful, it was a challenge to stitch. The girls, dog, and bubbles are all applique. Other techniques used were piecing and quilting on a long arm machine. Nancy and Karen worked from a photo to create Ricky and Lucy. Their original design was hand painted then quilted on a home sewing machine. They wanted the bird's feathers on the quilt to be just like the photograph. I think they succeeded beautifully. Yes, we do. <laughs> this is her second award tonight with feathers. 
The best AQS Best Hand Workmanship Award goes to Thank You Gratitude by Akiko Matsumura from Lida, Nagaga, Nagano, Japan. And now for the moment we have all been waiting for, the Best of Show Award and the Janome America Best of Show a winner for the 31st Annual AQS Quilt Week Contest is Majestic Mosaic by Karen K. Buckley and Renee Haddadi from Carlisle, Pennsylvania. This original design was machine appliqued by Karen and with Renee adding the exquisite long arm quilting. This concludes our award presentations for this evening. We hope you have enjoyed the stunning quilts recognized in this year's competition and you will have time to enjoy them again along with the hundreds of other fine quilts in the 31st annual AQS Quilt Week celebration. A special thank you to everyone for making this evening and this year's event so exciting. Good night and have a wonderful evening, all of you.